Guys, in the first video on this channel, I asked you guys to start talking about your mental illness, your own mental health. But then I realized it took 23 years for me to feel comfortable talking about it. So I don't think it's really fair to expect you guys to talk about it that quick either. I get it, I get it 100%. It's like this weird catch 22. We're scared to talk about it because people will know but we want to talk about it so people will know. It's like we want the help, but there's this huge risk there of it might be somebody that's not going to be able to help and someone who's going to make it make you feel worse. When I was in the hospital for depression, we had group talks. I did the exact same thing I did in there. It's the same I did with school and work and other social situations. I kept my mouth shut because I've been burned in the past. I was just as uncomfortable telling other people who had a mental health disorder about my mental health disorder as I did telling people who didn't have a mental health disorder. As I listened to more and more people opening up and talking about their mental health problems, their mental health disorder, their mental health, I felt like they were kind of reading my mind. It was like they found my journal of my deepest and darkest thoughts and were and was reading it word for word except I, I wasn't journaling <laughs> like where did they get this journal but every day it got easier to talk about it and by week three I was speaking openly without a filter and without a fear of judgment when it, when I was done when I finished the program I had this momentum I had this courage I went into every situation and strategically found a way to bring up depression and mental health in this country hey what do you think about depression? How do you feel about mental illness? Do you know anyone with a mental health disorder? I think that it's just all in their head. And they need to choose to be happy instead of choose to be miserable all the time. Not everybody was like that, but those are the ones that I remember. So the difference between pre-hospital and post-hospital was that post-hospital, I knew that talking about it helped. I also found out that it helped listening to others who were in the same boat. And I hate to say fighting, but we were working on the same problem. You call me a slow learner, but it took me 23 years to figure this out. 23 years of therapy, medication, multiple counselors, multiple therapists, two visits in the hospital to figure out that talking about this and hearing others talk about it helped. And then I, you get to this point where you realize that the pros of talking about it are way higher than the lows of potentially getting judged. And then that fear of talking about it goes away. I would have hated me too if, they, if I asked myself to do that early on when I just wasn't ready. But a baby step is better than no steps. With that said, I kind of ran, I ran across this organization. They're looking for people to share their mental health story. And it can be anonymous, a baby step. Just you opening up, finally feeling comfortable talking about your disorder, your dance with whatever you're dancing with. And I, I think an anonymous email is a great way to take that first step. And once the floodgates are open and you've tasted a little bit of success, you won't ever be the same. So I'm gonna put a link right here called defeatthestigmaproject.org. It's also in the description below. Head over there and if you guys want to tell your story, I think it would be good for everybody. Good for people who aren't ready to talk about it, people who are at the beginning stages of talking about it, and people who are like, I've talked about it and I know it helps. With that being said, life is meant to be experienced and curiosity will get you there. Sorry this video is a little late. I will do better next week. See you next Monday.